Hi, my name is Anne-Helene and I'm an occupational therapist and the owner of Baby Steps. Today, I will uh, take you through the exercises that you can do with your baby when you're taking them to the swim center. So the exercise that I would like to talk about for now is the exercise where we have the babies lying on their backs with the back of their head in placed in our hands. So the easiest way to get them in this position is by holding them in your arms and then you scoop one arm, one hand underneath of the head, the other one underneath of the bum and then push the baby away from you still lying in your hands floating in the water supported by your hands not lifted by your hands but supported by them when we support them here in the water we give them a chance to sense the new position see if they can catch the balance and then we can gently remove the hand underneath of the bum and put it up to the hand underneath of the head so we have two supporting head hands underneath of the head like this uh, our thumbs are aligned with the jawline from the back side and we can gently pull them as we walk backwards through the pool. Here we can also look down on our babies and catch their eye contact so we can communicate with them, tell them that everything is okay, see if they feel okay and react if we start to see them being uneasy or reacting to all of the sensory inputs that they are gaining from the water. When we have them lying here on their backs, they are using most of the primary senses to get a sense of how to use their body in the water. Depending on the age of the child, they might start to try and sit up, but that won't be until they are around. Most babies start trying to sit up around the age of seven to nine months. And if you start pulling them around in the pool so that you apply some motion, then most of the babies will just ease into the exercise instead of trying to raise themselves from the exercise. This exercise is very good for tactile stimuli from the water. Every time we move them around the pool, the water will shift around the body and they will sense all the impressions on their skin. They have a lot of inputs from the uh, vestibular system when they are keeping their balance. And a nice little extra detail is that you can lower them so far down that the ears are submerged underneath of the water. Not the entire face, but only the ears underneath of the water, closing off most of the uh, sounds that can be quite overwhelming inside a swim center. Whereas as soon as you have the ears underneath of the water, the baby will know this way of processing sounds, the way the sound waves are moving uh, and how the sounds will sound underneath of the water because they are used to that way of hearing the sounds from when they were in the belly. So it's a known sensory input that they get as soon as we take the ears underneath the water, which can help the baby to uh, not get overwhelmed by, by all of the inputs that they might be exposed to when we are at the swim center. This was a short video with a nice exercise that you can use with your baby the next time you're at the swim center. I hope you will enjoy the exercises and good luck. Bye.